Admitted to killing a construction worker and now the driver who ran over a bridge painter in Avon last September is pushing for safety. Anthony Rose was sentenced today and News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was in the courtroom for the sentencing. Paul, Rose had some things to say. That's right, Lee. He said he was sorry several times in courtroom, in the courtroom before sentencing today. And the judge gave him only five days in jail, in part because the judge said he had no priors, there were no aggravating circumstances, and also because that judge agreed with Avon police that ODOT had improper speed limit signs set up in that construction zone. To the family of the deceased, all I can say is I'm sorry. 50-year-old Anthony Rose told the court today he was sorry for striking and killing 63-year-old Peter Maglis with his Jeep in September. Maglis was painting a bridge in the Nagel Interchange at I-90 in Avon. The words I'm sorry ring hollow, but they're the only words I have to offer. Judge Darrell Bilancini could have given Rose three months behind bars, but gave him five days in jail because there were no aggravating circumstances. Rose was not on a cell phone and was not speeding. The judge agreed with Avon police that the construction zone had improper speed limit signs that caused confusion. The driver in front of Rose slowed down. Rose hit that car, then swerved through orange barrels, killing Maglis. So they had a recommended speed there that said uh, 55, and they had the actual speed there that was uh, 65 and so it was very confusing with those two different speed limits and two different colored signs. Rose told me today he's urging lawmakers to make sure concrete barriers are used to protect workers in zones like this and that speeds be lowered. About a week after that accident in September, ODOT unveiled new signs that can have the speed limit lowered remotely when workers are present in large construction zones. ODOT's director was asked then if these signs would be used in smaller work zones. We will def definitely be reviewing that policy. I called ODOT District 3 today to ask them about that uh, work zone area last fall, and a spokesperson told me they had the proper signs posted according to law in their opinion. Live outside, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.